One of the great advantages to working with a cloud-based application like Word for the Web is how easy it will be to share and even collaborate on documents with others. These are some of the options to explore when we go up to the Share tab up here and give it a click. This opens up the Send Link dialog. By default, when we send this link off to people, they're going to be able to edit. Anyone with the link can edit. If you don't like that, you just want people to view the document, and maybe it's specific people, you can click here to change this option. Notice another option is just people in your organization. If you're working with a Microsoft 365 business account. If you don't have a business account, you won't even see this option. We can also choose people with existing access. When we see anyone with link, that means that if we send this off to one person, they can forward it on to other people. So you may have multiple people accessing the link. If you choose people with existing access, those others that they try to send the link to will not be able to access your document. Same thing for specific people. If we choose this option, we type in the names of people we want to send this to. They can't forward it on to others. They won't be able to access your document with that link. Notice also down below that they will be able to edit the document by default. Deselecting this checkbox means it'll only be able to view the document. I'm going to turn this back on. There's something else called review mode as well. So if you prefer to have people review your document, add their comments and suggestions instead of actually making the changes in the document, you can turn this feature on. I'm going to leave it off and let people go in and actually make the changes. Another option is to give them temporary access by setting an expiration date. Clicking here opens up a calendar. If you want to give them a week to work on the document, you can choose a date a week later, for example. After that date, the link that you've provided to them will expire and will no longer work. Another option, if you're concerned about security, is to set a password. People you send the link to will also need to know the password. If you set one, you would give that to them separately. I'm going to leave it without a password and click Apply. Now that I've changed the options, all I need to do is add the people to a list that I want to give access to. That can be names from your contacts, groups, or individual email addresses. I'm going to send this to someone outside the organization, Karen Leslie. She has a Gmail account. That's okay. I can add that. I do see a warning that she's outside my organization. That's okay. We can add other people here, have multiple people accessing the document, even simultaneously. If you want to add a message down below, it's optional. How about please make changes as necessary. We're ready to send this off. We can do it with the send button. That means the message goes out, the link goes out to the people we've added right here from Word for the Web. If you prefer to use your own email application, you can copy the link and go there to do it, even use Outlook from here. But by clicking Send, we don't have to leave Word for the Web at all. The link is sent out, and they now have access to the document. So we'll close this up. We would continue working on our document. While others might be accessing it, we'll find out when they do by checking the Share tab up here. So let's see what it's like to receive the invitation. I'm going to switch over to Karen Leslie's Gmail account where she's received an email from David Rivers. Shared a document. There's the name of the file. There's some information here. All she has to do is click open to open it up. She doesn't even need to have a Word for the Web account. Doesn't need to have Microsoft Word installed. She goes right to this online version of Microsoft Word and is working on the document. Now you'll notice up here, a little message, some updates, etc. That's okay. As she scrolls down, she can see the full document. Also, the initials D are up here. Ah, David Rivers has this document open as well. She could go in and start making changes. Let's say changing five to six right here. And as we switch back now to us working on it, Something's changed up here next to the share button. We see that there's a guest contributor. She's outside the organization. That's why we see that. Also, we could jump to the location where she's working by clicking go to location. We can also see it down here. There's a little flag for the guest contributor. And notice that the change is instantaneous. It says six years now instead of five down there. If you're not seeing the changes right away, there's a catch up button too. 
Clicking this button will get everything up to date from all contributors. You'll see you're all caught up when you do that. Now, at the end of collaboration, you may want to disable the link so that people can't go in any longer. Maybe you've set an expiration date, but the document's finished before that. Well, in that case, you go back to share, click there. You'll see the ellipses up here next to send link. That's for more options. Click there and then choose manage access. It's from here where you'll see the link. You'll see that there is an expiration date. I can tell by this little calendar icon, just hover over it to see the date. You can see the owner, but the ellipses next to it gives us more options, which includes this X to remove the link altogether. By removing the link and choosing delete link, no one will be able to access this document any longer. So we can go back to manage access and close this up knowing that Karen won't be able to go in and make changes any longer. You can see a reconnect here, for example. If I switch over to Karen, who's working on it, she sees the same thing. And if she tries to reconnect, she's going to see an error message that it's just simply not available any longer. So when it comes to sharing and collaborating with others, you have easy access to share options from Word for the web, not just for sharing a link for people to view your document, but to actually go in there and start making changes if you want to collaborate.